What's up everybody, Marmavex Forever here. Today, I've been playing with Robot C and I finished something that I always wanted to do. It's so cool, just like the behemoth, uh, the fifth monster in the game Evolve. Uh, super cool that you're staring at right now. So I'm going to show you what I'm actually doing. Alright, so um, if you've seen the uh, second video in my channel, or the, the uh, second earliest that um, I uploaded is about a rerun program. And uh, it basically rerun program is pretty simple. You, you, you uh, I'm gonna, con uh, I'm gonna explain the idea later. Is that you construct a, um, a PID uh, velocity loop, and uh, basically you calculate the velocity every uh, tenth of a second, and you record a joystick value every ten tenth of a second. So essentially, what you're doing is that you are using the joystick to control uh, to send a signal to the PID velocity loop the PID velocity loops uh, I mean spits out a um, uh, power uh, and to, to make sure that the motor runs uh, to the best of your command what you do is that what you do is recording is that you record that stream or that array of that data of that joystick and uh, basically 1,500 uh, 1, uh, pieces um, of numbers uh, because uh, we record it every tenth of a second. And what we do is that we then put it in an array um, and then, uh, or somehow we just print out a very long stream of stuff. And then we stuff that uh, thing back into our PID loop, exact same PID loop to achieve an exact rerun program uh, to uh, make sure that every time PID loop corrects the error despite any other factors. Uh, I mean, the old way I did it, it was okay, but it just basically, it just wrote a super, super, super long chain of commands. I thought I could have done it better with some, um, uh, well, um, for loop and, uh, actually storing that thing into an array. And today I'm going to show you that. So essentially, let's uncomment this. Because I don't have a Jurassic right now, I used a sign function, which is somewhere here. Uh, I used a uh, sign function to, uh, to simulate where, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Sign function, sign function, simulation. Well, where are you? Come on. No, no, no. Essentially, uh, uh, yeah, here it is. Essentially, I used a sign function to simulate this thing, and uh, I think I'm gonna make the. Uh, I prefer the program when the uh, fonts are small. It just, 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 just makes me feel better when it's small. I don't know why, but for video recording, I'm gonna make it bigger. So right here, I have a sign function that basically simulates um, the what your joystick does. And if I quickly run my program, you can basically see that I am. All right. So if I run my program, uh, I say press to start recording. So essentially this, uh, I mean, when you are recording, you are going to get something very similar. I mean, your joystick value is going to, it's, it's going to be something very similar to this. Uh, I mean, although this is a very r regular sine wave that I did, but, uh, your joystick is some, uh, uh it's going to be, a, I mean, your joystick input value is going to be some, something like this. If you have a dead band, you're going to have a bunch of zeros, but it's going to be a bunch of changing values. So what we do is that we, we want to store this thing into an array and then somehow, we want to let the computer spit out a program, a, a, a bunch of program for us, and then we just copy paste it into our main program that will work. So, uh, basically this is what, basically this is what I did. Um, so let's run the program. It's really cool personally. I really, really like it. I think it's one of my challenges. The challenges I did is that it's just really, really cool. So let's start running the program. Let's press to start recording. We see a bunch of joystick readings, something like this. Uh, we are assuming that we are driving the robot and uh, some joystick reading like this. And uh, autonomous is almost going to end. 15 seconds is almost going to end. Come on, come on, come on. It's going to end and boom. That's what I'm talking about. You, you, the, the autonomous end and uh, boom, you copy and paste this thing. You paste, copy and paste this thing into your, um, uh, copy and paste, uh, I mean, this thing into your, uh, where is it? Uh, I'm just, uh, just basically copy this thing into your pro main program and run this thing somewhere. Or somehow manipulate this thing a little bit to plug these values into your, um, or to, to, to plug this value somehow into your, uh, uh, 
into a PID loop and boom, you get the exact rerun without needing to do anything. Basically, you just let the computer spit out the program for you. How cool is that? Check this out, guys. This is this is sheer awesomeness. This is amazing. This there's a little bit glitch over here. I'm not sure, but uh, basically you get the idea. It's, it's really, really, really cool. All right, so let me uh, shut down. Let me comment out that line. Let's don't visualize the Jurassic simulation. Let's download to the robot. Start. And right now it is recording autonomous. Let's count 15 seconds. I'm going to pause. And there it is. How awesome is that? Check that out. Wow. Essentially, you are using a debug stream to write codes for you, but you have to write more codes. Actually, not. Uh, yeah, actually, you have to write more codes for the debug stream to write codes for you. But this is so cool. Like, if you have a, an array of numbers, and uh, however the array of numbers is stored in the uh, in the um, cortex somewhere in the, uh, as an array of variables, you want to see what it is, and you want to. Give uh, basically you want to have a physical grasp of all these numbers. Check this out. You can use this method to print this thing out. Isn't that thing so freaking awesome? Oh man, I love it. Man, this is cool. I, I'm just I'm there's still some small glitches over here. Like well, I don't know why these things are printing out there. What? You get the idea. This is so cool. This is so cool. Maybe in the future I'm gonna do some more videos to talk about how I did it. But rerun program. Plan to finish up my uh, to wrap up my final rerun program project, and uh, I am plan to make a series just to talk about a rerun program, PID velocity stuff like that. All right, awesome, Martin Mavex forever. I'll see you in the next video. Isn't this so cool?